then <coughs> uh, we should start the way we normally start. I know it's a bit weird. <laughs> At least you don't have the bloody girl guys stealing our biscuits. <laughs> I actually caught one of them stealing our milk. They had peer support in big writing. Who remembers Jaffa Cake Gate? Oh, and the AA lot are so lovely. Anyway, um, we ought to keep to a routine, so... Successes. Tyler, do you want to go first? What? Do you want to go first? Successes? Okay, um, I, I lost my job. Oh. I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, it's shit, but yeah, whatever. That's awful. So successes. Well, you're you're here. All right, so I mean, I can go. No, 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 sorry. You go. I'll go then. I've decided I'm gonna make a success of this time we've been gifted. He's he's productively been learning Python. It's a type of coding, Louise. Um, I'm doing my yoga with Adrian every morning and I'm going to get that promotion. I'm sure you will. Fatima Hussain, fundraising data manager. Uh, yoga with Adrian. I've been given lemons, so we just have to make some epic lemonade. I am trying to avoid reading all of those articles that start if you're not taking coronavirus seriously yet read this <laughs> just trying to say positive about the business i've been pushing those al tea cozies heavily on the auntie's whatsapp group you'll be getting at least 10 orders Keep on, keeping on. <laughs> I'm quite positive, actually. You know, I've been thinking a lot about death, but for once that doesn't make me unusual. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd be Skype teaching my, uh, my niece, although my brother, he said it was all getting a bit too dark when we got into the Imperial College paper. What's, what's the Imperial College paper? Guys, Neil Ferguson. It's where they came up with the 250,000 deaths estimate. How old's your niece? At 11. Yeah, she's really into it. Well, that sounds, um, that sounds really positive. Um, triggers? Um, yeah, I can't think of anything. You know, nothing comes to mind. Uh. Well, for me, it's the pandemic. Yeah, that's the joke. Right, so, yeah. You bring so much to these meetings. Sorry. I'm sorry, Tyler. We shouldn't have been sarcastic. Have you had any triggers? Well, and losing my job. I have spent the last 30 years being told that I'm ill because I believe that if I don't keep clean, terrible things will happen to people that I love. And then the government says that if I don't wash my hands, I'll kill my dad. Yeah, I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. You know, as, as normal people, you aren't constantly worried about the end of everything. You know, I'm scared for. So, one week in. Yay. Tyler, do you want to uh, tell us your successes? Okay, um, I got a job at Tesco. I, it's just stacking shelves and stuff, so I don't have to talk to anyone or whatever. You're feeding Britain. Thank you. 
And there's this girl. Oh, a coronavirus romance. Yeah, don't don't be weird, please. Oh, if you didn't want weirdness, you shouldn't have come to us. What is she like? You should have like Skype date. Uh, yeah, she's all right. She's got like blue hair. Oh, we haven't really uh, talked. I mean, I'm not going to do anything, am I? You haven't really talked. Uh, I said, excuse me, are those your headphones? When she nearly left without them. So, you're like a knight in shining armour, basically. And what did she say? Uh, she said, yeah, thank you. Oh, so thank you, not thanks. Mm. Yeah, okay, you're being weird. Who's next? me. I'm keeping going. I've not got dressed yet. I know, I know. I'm a failure. No, no, no one is saying that. No, no, I just can't seem to get up and get dressed. Said my Wi-Fi was playing up, so just using the mic. Yeah, but it is a bit weird getting dressed when we haven't got anywhere to go. But I kept working. That's what I'm focusing on. Work. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Fatima, do you think... You know that's a load of capitalist bullshit. You guys not this again. It's supposed to be a support group. Uh, I'm being supportive. All right. Well, all, all right, shall I go? Well, uh, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. You know, I'm not having to rush around everywhere and, and everything's going at this gentle... You're loving it. I'm not. I mean, isn't that what you said last week? <laughs> that was obviously a joke. Okay. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Well, I've also joined this, this birthing group. And you know, I've decided I'm 41 now and I'm going to become a bird watcher. And you know, actually, because there's fewer cars, there's loads of birds around. Yeah, great. I mean, who cares if another granny dies? Yeah, because I mean, that's absolutely what I'm saying. What? I'm finding let's ignore the death and look on the bright side thing a little bit old. Well, at least I'm not trying to project manage the apocalypse. Okay. You know, you need to take a day off. You've just been so bloody moody. Okay. So I'm moody. Owen, <laughs> please. Um, Fatima, would you like someone to provide some accountability for you? No. You need to take at least the rest of the week off. No offence, but you do seem to have gone properly mental again. Uh, I, I think, I think that what everyone means to say is that as important as your work is, yeah, when you start to become unwell, you use your work as a way of, I don't know, keeping... All these people, like, take a break, don't stress. Not everyone's job's bullshit. Weekly income came in from all the local fundraisers. And you think like, there's something wrong with the figures. But then you realise, oh, that's what it looks like when there's no money coming in. Uh, I shared that donation link. It's my job to get money. There isn't any. Marley has like three ventilators. I mean three. To Owen, thanks, but... I'm only trying to... <sighs> You're enjoying people's lives, getting put on hold, and people dying because your life is like a permanent state of lockdown. <sighs> mm. 
well, I guess that's the meeting over then. What did you think of my message? I think we should wait for Louise. Well, I appreciate your apology. I really do. And, you know, it's, it's possible that maybe I... Well, where's Louise? Just message her again. Did you remember her last time? Do you think she's okay? Should I? <sighs> Should we? She never misses a call or anything. Do you think? Like I, I know where she lives. Like she she showed me it one time. Like do, do you think? What? Bang on the door. I mean, if she's had a flare up, that's. But what if she has the virus? She had, she would tell us. Would she? No, I think we should go around. You'll say the wrong thing. You always say the wrong thing. Shit! Maybe we should get the police to do a, a welfare... The police? They'll do a worse job than me. Louise? Louise, are you there? What are you doing? I'm not sure if you're there, so I'm, I'm just going to act like you are. Uh, it, it's totally fine if you don't want to be on the call today. We just wanted to see if... Uh, we just wanted to let you know, you know, that... Because it... it's really hard, isn't it? When I, um, the doctor said I should come to this, I thought, you know, what's, what's the point in listening to other anxious people talk about being anxious? You know, I, I'm trying to stop being crazy, so why do I want to be with people who are just as crazy as me? But I, I kept going, and I realised that the point is that... You don't always have to make lemonade. You know, you can just look at the lemons and go... Fuck, that's a lot of lemons. And I've never made lemonade before, so it probably won't be very nice. We, we understand. But, but we try and make bad lemonade together. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, whatever. In the spirit of bad lemonade, I'm sorry. And thank you. I'm sorry too. I called my boss this morning and said I, I need duvet day. I was trying to be all professional and she said that she needed one too and started crying and I couldn't stop. Uh, all right then, uh, so, successes. You first. Her name's Clara. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that they've managed to put a cow on the moon? What? Yeah, yeah, no, they've made like these space boots for the hooves and then they have like these big helmets, it just goes over and they've got a cow on the moon. Oh yeah, um, and I got a job for the new moon milk marketing team. No, you didn't. What are you talking about? You have, there's no milk media marketing team. Yeah, you don't need a milk, milk <laughs> marketing team. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm not going to take this seriously. It's a real, it's a, it's a proper news story. It's, it's a like cow on the moon. moon. Moon, moon, moon. That's good fun, actually, yeah. What would they call it? Like, you know, the great moon adventure. <laughs>